You got me here. I love this one. Food sensitivities, because I believe that they're one of the reasons for chronic hidden inflammation. I love that you inserted that there. So food sensitivities are huge, but I, I go at them a different way. I think that the food sensitivities are developing because of the destruction of the body's anatomy. Agreed. So if you're chronically sick and you're doing an IgG, IgA food panel and everything's coming up, I'm going, well, duh, Sherlock Holmes you can't break down these proteins and you've got leaky gut leaking into the bloodstream causing a sensitivity you've got to refix the microbiome you got to fix that gut lining so obviously that's the whole idea of restrictive diets restrictive diets should be a temporary solution to help the body have a healing response no more but what we do is we don't actually get the healing response so we stay in a restrictive diet of carnivore sed ketosis for 20 years and that's not healthy it has a short-term massive value and we should all practice it but after a while it loses its its validation really and it just means that something else is actually not getting fixed so food sensitivity i say yes but you need to fix it and it will no longer be sensitive if you do it right meaning i didn't have even cow dairy for six or seven years, but I was fine with it while I was growing my entire life. And I didn't have an IgE2 IgE true allergy. So I rebuilt my body's ability to handle cow because I was no longer sensi sensitive to it once I fixed my gut. I love it because when you think about it, it's a chicken and the egg. Did leaky gut come before food sensitivities or did food sensitivities cause the leaky gut? Who really knows? Yeah.